Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where Bitcoin is continuing in full on bull mode. Okay, we are moving up another 13% plus as we are speaking right now and we are talking about in 18 days a 60% rise. Okay, so we're looking on the back of the, uh, you know, of the of the bearish news that we obviously saw from the Bitfinex FUD. From that, we have seen a 60% increase in 18 days. Absolutely crazy. Um, and I just want to talk you through some of the retracements, retracements that we saw yesterday and how this is, has led to continuation today. Okay, so that's first, of, uh, just to point out where I've got these fibs from, okay, we're looking at down from that two day, you know, that two day drop of red, taking this as the swing low up to the swing high of yesterday. Okay, so we're looking at yesterday's retracement that we saw, obviously a substantial retracement. Okay, we're talking about from the high of around 7,600, uh, 7, let's just say, all the way down to this region of uh, 6,800, let's say, okay. So about a 10% drop, okay? But where did we drop out to? We came down to the 382 retracement, found support and head back up, okay? So let's zoom on to the lower term time frame and just show you what happened here, okay? So obviously we can see this, this line right here is the 382 FIP level from that swing low up to the swing high on the daily. Okay, price retraced fairly substantially. Okay, fairly substantially found the found its uh, retracement right down to the 382 where we had that 0 0.5 FIP level retracement back, back down. Uh -huh, okay, again, uh, and obviously where we found support after forming another higher low. Okay, so obviously have the dump onto the 382, 382, great support in a bull market. Okay, in a bull market, you generally don't see retracements past the 382. It's a good chance to buy the dip. Okay, I am still in my uh, spot Bitcoin. Okay, so it just means I'm just holding Bitcoin uh, on spot exchange. Okay, and obviously I was in hedging yesterday, my uh, short positions. I was in a short position up here and that obviously retraced very nicely to the 382. I did not close out all of my short at this position because it is a hedge position, okay? And then as we obviously moved up again today, that got stopped out and we just continue on. So this is like really, really amazing, really, really bullish. And yeah, how can you not be happy right now with this advance that Bitcoin is seeing? You know, it's absolutely amazing. And just the retracements, obviously retracing to the 382, finding support for continuation. Okay, really you formed a low at the 382, then formed a high, then you formed a higher low. Okay, and then as soon as you break that high, you know, that's where we go full on, you know, continuing on the uptrend. Okay, we're here on the hour chart, you break that high for then a low, high, higher low, you, you break on upwards. Okay, absolutely. Very, very nice. Okay, there was that potential back pattern that we were looking at, but obviously that blew straight through the targets in the end. And yeah, continuing on nicely. What news came out? Okay, this news that I'm going to show you here was released around this point right here underneath the uh, resistance. Okay, what was that? It was the backed official news that uh, absolutely massive in my opinion. You know, long term we're looking, you know, long term this is really, really big. We obviously knew it was coming. Uh, we did know this was coming. It should have been more or less priced in, but uh, obviously we were not aware that it was coming today. And that's where we saw the, ex you know, that kind of explosion 10% rise straight through resistances um you know with the announcement that uh, backs are obviously uh, in collaboration with ICE futures US and you know they are very much I, I wouldn't I haven't actually read the article I didn't bother to read the article I just saw, read read the headline and obviously straight away you can just tell that this is obviously bullish news there's a lot of excitement around back and um, back to, and obviously consensus a bit of the uh, meme consensus but you know all of it's coming up very soon and uh, yeah it's just really in terms of news I also saw an article today that apparently eBay are going to be accepting Bitcoin overall anyway I'm just you know, you're seeing a lot of positive news with this article in particular coming out today, causing a rise up very swiftly. OK, so that was obviously around here. News comes out when we, we increase. I think this was released around sort of here. Uh, OK, so that's like a 7% rise, which is crazy straight through resistances. OK, and then consolidating above resistances. OK, so that's absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, what, what what should we be expecting right now from Bitcoin? I mean, absolutely, Bitcoin is the definition of crazy right now. This move is literally crazy, but we're not complaining. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely, you know, phenomenal, let's be honest. Um, so where we are looking at for our next sort of target points, I mean, naturally, we're looking all the way up. To, we're starting to look for this 8,400 region, okay? We're kind of in this region right now. Okay, looking left on the chart, you can just see we're in this sort of region right now. Okay, finding resistance right here. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. But the resistance is not great. Okay, the resistance really here, you would expect after breaking that high, we're going to be moving on to the next high around 8,400. Okay, so that's where my sort of next eye is for a target of around this 8,478 level. Uh, just lining up with this next high with the news and everything. It's just full on. Um, yeah absolutely so bullish i mean this is without a doubt without a doubt an uptrend okay 
and uh, yeah, just without a doubt, you, you cannot argue right now that this is in a very, very, very bullish uptrend. Okay, so you obviously next sort of targets you're looking at is this 8,400. Again, you, you never want to be the guy that buys the top here. Okay, you don't want to be the guy that buys the tops. You want to get in on retracements. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you feel comfortable buying retracements, obviously some of the retracement targets are very low right now. So you either have to be patient. Okay. There's obviously a lot of people sat on the sidelines. I feel, uh, feel for you, but obviously there's a lot of people sat on the sidelines right now that just obviously all this time they thought Bitcoin was going to be pulling back. Bitcoin was going to be pulling back. Bitcoin's going to be pulling back. They're up here thinking Bitcoin's going to be pulling back, you know, it gets to a point where it gets too much and they FOMO buy in and then you retrace. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, you know, it's just funny how it works like this, but, um, yeah, you just have to, yeah, just identify the bullish signs, you know, the higher the higher highs and higher lows. That is, for me, has been just a like real massive factor. It hasn't lost it at all, okay, since, you know, over a month now, we've just been going on with this pattern. It's just been so bullish. Um, yeah, it really, really has, okay? So, uh, yeah, I don't want to induce FOMO into anybody. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, we have to, you know, uh, really say, and we're above the 236, okay? So we're above the 236, next target, obviously, around 9,000 of the 382, and this is obviously from the swing high all the way down to the swing low, okay? Where would you say, or uh, you've we've broken through the 236, and you can see how we found resistance on the 236 temporarily, but that's where we were finding it, okay? And then naturally you're looking obviously at this 8,400 up to the 382, around 9,600, okay, which coincides very nicely with obviously this massive resistance that we're seeing around 10,000, okay. I can remember very well, very, very well back last year where uh, we couldn't get over 10,000 and obviously it was a back then, obviously when everything was so bearish, this was an amazing, amazing short opportunity. Uh, but at the same time now we're going to be possibly coming back up to these levels and it's again, will we break 10,000 one year later? That's uh, to be seen. Obviously, if we get up that high, you always have to say, you know, there's no guarantees in trading. Um, you could easily turn around now, for example. But, you know, in the realms of probabilities, um, you know, it would be um, strange to turn around at this is that point. Although you are running in, obviously, into these resistances. They are not massive resistances in the grand scheme of things with the news coming out with, you know, just every, the, the space in general at the moment. Really, I'm just talking about the FOMO news because, in my opinion, it should have been priced in. Okay, in my honest opinion, people were aware of that, although we were not aware of the date, it should have been priced in. Okay, uh, but obviously, it hasn't been priced in. People were not expecting today to be the exact day, and that's why we saw this, you know, six percent rise in price. Uh, you know, within within the hour, okay, news article gets released, it starts getting circulated, and then you know, people, you know, people start buying in, and then we saw shortly after uh, that increase of around six seven percent through resistances. Um, and that could easily carry on for the next few days, okay? You would, um, you know, it's just at this sort of resistance right here, it doesn't make sense, uh, you know, in terms of RR to look for shorts at this exact level. You want to see it get closer to 8,400 for a nice, like, hedge. For me, it's just hedging at the moment. I'm just looking for hedge hedges because I'm more bullish on Bitcoin, basically. I'm in, in holding very nice amounts of Bitcoin, so... Um, yeah, I'm just basically looking for hedge positions on a little short to hedge my some of my longs, basically, um, for that exact reason. Um, because, yeah, this is without a doubt in a very strong uptrend, okay? And until we sort of break down from it, really important exponential moving averages, slash the higher lows, slash the 382 Fibonacci level, okay? Because, as I said at the start of the, at the video, we shouldn't be retracing more than the 382 in an uptrend, really. Okay, you can definitely come down past the 382, but that, that's the one that you want to see the bulls hold every single retracement buying on the 382, for example, you know? And that's exactly what we done yesterday, and it gave a very good buying opportunity or taking profits from shorts. Okay, um, so yeah, that's what I'm. That's how I'm looking at this space. You can probably tell I'm really happy, really excited, and just absolutely love crypto. Um, you know, this is why we're in this space. You know, why would you be in this space uh, if you didn't love crypto? It's it's amazing. I'm so happy, and uh, yeah, just just. This is why I stopped trading stocks so much and I moved to crypto because this is so crazy. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy, basically. I'm really, really, really happy, really hyped uh, for this space. Again, I do not want to induce FOMO into anybody, but yeah, you know, what a, what a, what a rise. This has been absolutely amazing. We're seeing discounted alts across the board. Okay, obviously against their USD value, they've ra raised substantially. Um, what I want to show you is Matic. Oh my God, Matic. What a what a, what a coin. Uh, oh God, now at 50%. Oh my God, this has just been on an absolute tear. Okay, this is tearing. Okay, obviously we had this nice, you know, this nice bull flag where you obviously saw that as a really big rise. You come down in that bull flag and now we are coming up to targets right now. Oh yes. So while I've been making this video, we have hit the target. We have hit the measured targets oh my god uh, so i've actually taken some profits right now i have my i have my sell orders placed here 
uh, not for now my whole position but my take profits positions okay so that is obviously just really simply like this okay and literally while I've been making this video I have hit my take profit okay absolutely brilliant that is a 50% gain in a day uh, what I coined that has been just simply on a bull flag <laughs> measured move um, so uh, yeah I've taken profits here but yeah let's see how much more this can run obviously at this sort of uh, massive massive rise you do have to start getting a little bit of care but um yeah this could run continue running without a doubt okay without a doubt it's like fundamentally really linked um you know it's just looking really great for this coin but i have taken my first take profit at this measured move because that is the reason why i bought okay so you take profits at the measured move because the only reason i bought was for the bull flag okay so we're looking at the pole the bull flag the extension of the pole okay you hit your target okay this is a massive target 50 percent in a day like absolutely crazy crazy life changing trade right there <laughs> uh, but then obviously we're continuing to run okay so i've not sold out all of my position and i will actually update now my new stop losses and just set the rest on a trailing stop loss because i don't want to get greedy at this point although this could definitely continue to run hard okay while i've been speaking we've gone up another 10 percent yeah absolutely absolutely amazing uh, and that's just funny that we just hit that target as i wanted to speak about it very nice to see this um yeah wow what is are we on now from the entry like yeah 80 percent in in literally like one day just over one day like absolutely amazing okay absolutely amazing um yeah, how can you not be bullish on Bitcoin right now on just like some of these altcoins, you know, absolutely just loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay. And obviously it's Bitcoin against some of these US, these BTC pairs as well. You have to be like be eyeing up your uh eyeing up the best coins to be trading right now because um yeah, I'm just real bullish. Um I, I'm feeling the FOMO boy. <laughs> yeah, how can you not? This is really, really good. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of like everything I wanted to say in this video. Uh, really keep your eye on the, these EMAs, okay? As I mentioned in yesterday's live stream, that's what you want to be keeping your eye on, the higher low structure, okay? Higher low structure, which is obviously, you're looking at these higher lows. Last higher low is now at around 6,772, okay? And we can also see here how the EMAs are, you know, very much supporting price, okay? Um, we do not want to see these EMAs cross bearishly, okay? They're, they're not crossing bearishly at the moment. It's still very nice, but, you know, bet bigger factor the higher lows, okay? The EMAs are secondary behind the, the higher lows right now, okay? And you can just see how they've been held extremely, extremely, extremely nicely on this move upwards. Okay, so uh, yeah, absolutely not, not worried until we break the higher lows, which we haven't done for over a month now on the macro. So um, yeah, it's just there's no need to panic until we break those higher lows, basically. Okay, and then I'd be looking at now around this 6,750, um, you know, momentum look at that bullish momentum we're seeing histogram levels we have to go all the way back to april 2018 to see histogram levels this high okay so this is obviously recently the momentum is really 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 bullish okay rsi uh obviously this was yeah this was hit 88 that is crazy high okay crazy crazy high 88 on there okay so we're forming like bearish divergences but again i wouldn't ever ever short because of bearish divergences it's not enough to enter a trade you don't trade off of bearish divergences because you know why because this could just continue to uptick still uh and then there bye bye bearish divergence so it's never a metric you trade on alone but you have got them okay volume declining okay so volume declining bearish divergences you know it's just you know a, a several factors that you want to link together really i'd focus on those uh you know those sort of five minute for me i like trading five minute higher lows see how they're going sort of thing but um yeah i'm gonna wrap up this video i want to manage that matic trade i want to actually enter my trading stop losses <laughs> um and then i will uh yeah go back to actually scalping bitcoin for a little bit um new attire you like my new attire yeah i just like trade all day in my pajamas <laughs> making money while sat in your pajamas at home like how could you get better than this right now <laughs> um so anyway that's enough for me i hope you've enjoyed this video hope it's been beneficial and uh yeah just Keep your eyes on those high lows, keep your eyes on those EMAs, and uh, let's see how the week to come uh, behaves. Obviously, tomorrow, I believe Binance should be opening, apparently, their withdrawal and deposit functions. That's going to be, um, that's either going to go one way or another, so keep your eyes on the uh, that being allowed tomorrow, which could aff affect altcoins, potentially. We'll see how it goes with uh, whether people withdraw or actually put money in. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep my eye on that and see exactly when it goes live, uh, and, you know, just be reacting to to that as it happens in, in, the, in the live. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to next as Bitcoin continues to rise up very, very nicely. OK, so that's uh, that's the end of the, today's video. Hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Good night. Well, good night or just bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>